In this lesson, we will discuss op amp shunt regulators. In the basic op amp shunt regulator, the control element is a transistor Q1 in parallel with the load as shown in the figure. The resistor R1 is in series with the load. The operation of the circuit is similar to that of a series regulator, except that regulation is accomplished by controlling the current through the parallel transistor Q1. When the output voltage tries to decrease due to a change in input voltage or load current, the decrease attempt is sensed by R3 and R4 and sent to the op amp's non-inverting input. The resulting voltage difference decreases the op amp's output V sub B to Q1, driving Q1 less, thereby reducing the collector current, also called a shunt current, and increasing the effective collector to emitter resistance. Since this resistance acts as a voltage divider with R1, the attempted offset decreases V sub O and maintains it at, at an almost constant level. A change in the input voltage produces a change in the shunt current I sub S that is equal to the change in input voltage divided by the resistance of R1. A change in load current produces a reverse change in shunt current. Therefore, the change in maximum load current is equal to the input voltage divided by the resistance of R1. For example, in the circuit diagram, what power rating must R1 have if the maximum input voltage is 14.5 volts? The worst case power dissipation in R1 occurs when the output is short circuited and output voltage equals zero. When the input voltage is 14.5 volts, the output voltage dropped across to R1 is calculated by subtracting the output voltage zero volts from the input voltage V sub I, which results in 14.5 volts. The power dissipation in R1 is then calculated by dividing the square of the voltage across R1, 14.5 volts, by the resistance of R1, 33 ohms, which equals 6.37 watts. Therefore, a resistor of at least 6.37 watts should be used. 